AMC's official short interest is exploding higher today, heading into earnings today in after hours. And to put this into context, the January rally of 2021, the June rally of 2021 did not have short interest this high. So imagine what can happen this time around. Guys, we're going to talk about my expectations coming here in After Hours based off of earnings as well as some breaking news that is coming out between a partnership between AMC and Walmart for, you guessed it, popcorn. And I think fundamentally speaking, this might drive more investors into AMC. On top of that, we are going to look at the FTDs just to make sure everyone is on the same page of where the numbers currently sit and look at the technicals here in this video. So if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, well, stay tuned. We're going to get into all of it and much more. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And we are active making trades here today based off of earning some interesting things happening over there in that community. If you guys want to be a part of it, where you will get access to all my trades in real time, you can ask me questions. We can chat over there. Link down below in the description of this video. So nonetheless, AMC stock down about five and a half percent. The markets are very wishy-washy back and forth today. There's a lot of volatility going on, and I think this is pretty normal per AMC earnings. We're coming off of a very large rally yesterday, and you did see a continuation of that rally in the beginning of the day, and then it kind of started to fall apart. Now, this is actually a positive thing heading into AMC earnings, in my personal opinion, when you do see the stock uh, kind of getting a little bit of a discount, right? In my opinion, it's better if the stock is down 6% heading into a very important earnings than to be up 6 or 10% because at that point, did the markets just price that in? Well, maybe. So you're pricing in a little bit more negativity today, which could lead to that upside surprise even more. And I do think based off of what I am currently seeing, I expect a rally throughout the rest of this week with AMC as long as earnings come in line with what we're expecting, right? AMC, eight out of 10 times beats on top and bottom lines. Every single earnings, they have given us better guidance. And I don't think this quarter is going to be any different. I think AMC is going to take full advantage of market tailwinds, meaning tailwinds pushing you ahead that are helping out the theater industry like for an example, 35% more films going to theaters in 2023 than 2022. I think ultimately you're going to get good guidance. And that's what the markets care about right here and right now. Beyond the actual numbers, they didn't even care about that too much. It is all about the guidance. Now, the biggest thing in regards to guidance that the markets will care about, and this is what will really drive AMC stock throughout the rest of this week, is where do they see EBITDA? Are they going to be positive? Are they going to be free cash flow positive or have a net profit? That is important. And they don't have to have this right now. Like the last three months, people aren't really going to care if, if they lost money again. We're expecting that. But throughout 2023, if Adam Aaron says, yeah, we might have a rockier first quarter and then second, third, fourth quarter are going to be rock solid and we're going to make all this free cash flow. That is what would drive AMC stock exponentially higher, as high as 100% by the end of this week. 100% higher from here if those things that I just went over are actually said on earnings. It's hard to tell, but based off of common sense and following this stock every single day and the theater industry as a whole, we're going to have some pretty positive things to say. Now, at the same time, get this, the official short interest report just came out. The settlement date for February 15th, so not all too long ago, the short interest of free flow was 25 and a half I think this reiterates exactly what I've been saying. The short interest is a lot higher. And this is the official report. And likely that the options are hiding a lot of additional short interest. Now, let's talk about some of these other numbers that we've seen. More specifically, the June 2021 rally. Right before that rally, on May 28th, the short interest of free flow hit 24.5%. You are now at 25.5%. So you are at higher short interest levels now, right here on this chart, than you were 
back here when AMC stock went absolutely nuts. So, so I think that sets us up in a very good position to see a short squeeze. Now, on top of that, what actually caused the rally yesterday is a fact that a judge uh, made this injunction preliminary hearing for April 27th for this March 14th vote. Now, AMC is allowed to continue with the vote, but that puts it in a weird spot if the courts rule that it shouldn't have happened, right? It really puts the business uh, not in a good situation if the courts do proceed with these procedures, right? On April 27th. If they've already done the vote on March 14th and it's already passed, that could potentially be a big problem for AMC. So odds are it's going to get delayed and that was clear in the price action of AMC yesterday going up over 23 percent and I think you will get more clarity on that uh, coming on the earnings call and the earnings report that we get here today and after hours that is again something that could also make the markets very bullish or I shouldn't say the markets I should say AMC very bullish now this also came out today that AMC pushes ahead on popcorn with Walmart deal. Now, I want to be fully clear with you guys uh, because I know some people don't care about fundamentals, but I want to kind of in a minute or two explain why things like this is important because on one hand, you got some people, like I said, that don't care about fundamentals. They think it doesn't matter, all of this, when in all reality, there's many different kinds of investors. So that might not matter to some people, but to other people, myself included, I like to be more defensive aggressive. So what that means is essentially I'm not going to play a large position in a short squeeze trade or any other trade, uh, a swing trade, right? Hold, buy and hold for multiple days, weeks, or months. I'm not going to do that if the company is going to go bankrupt. This is why I have not played Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY, because they are going to go bankrupt. Even though they just raised this capital, which I would be more willing to play them now, there was never a backstop. Your backstop was the stock will go to zero if this said does not happen. With AMC, I think on a risk to reward basis, if you're looking at the potential of a 10x from here, right? AMC going from $7 to $70, I think that's more likely than AMC going back to $3 at this point. So your risk to reward um, outlook gets better as the fundamentals get better and that can drive in more investors right not just the people that are trying to yolo some money you can drive in some investors that look at the risk reward profile a lot different on amc as fundamentals do continue to improve and ultimately that's the main reason why shorts cover on their short positions really the only reason why they ever cover on a short position is because they were wrong fundamentally the business got better and that is what has slowly been happening over the last couple of years and i think you're really getting to that point like we see now 25 and a half percent short interest where things can get very squeezy in a very short amount of time so with that being said let's jump back to the ortex data take a look at these cost of bar rates cost of our average of 338 percent cost of our max 347 percent and you do have 133 and a half million shares that are currently sold short so that's a lot that is a very big deal if we look at the overview for amc because as as you guys likely do know uh it's not necessarily the short interest percentage that can cause short squeezes it's usually the amount that is actually sold short. And when you're looking at over a billion dollars now currently sold short on AMC, after the stock has already rallied exponentially, that's a lot of money that could potentially be lost if AMC continues to go higher. So it puts shorts in a very bad position, especially the shorts that were caught off sides in this arbitrage trade. The, AMC was pricing in that this March 14th vote was going to go through and people were shorting AMC buying ape to play that gap to play the difference between the prices of AMC and ape now that there is doubt and question if that will happen that's a recipe for disaster especially for this short interest jump which is obviously due to this arbitrage trade that people have been putting on even people like carl icon were calling this trade with amc a perfect trade an easy trade well not so easy there buddy 
you're caught off sides. And especially if something good is announced on AMC earnings, that's going to be uh, very positive. Now, Quickly going back to this AMC uh, deal with Walmart, this is probably the best deal they could have made. You want to be in with Walmart, and I think if you get more clarity on the earnings call of what they could expect from this business over the next couple of years when they're actually going to launch it, right? Do they expect $200 million a year? Do they expect expect a billion dollars a year in you know two years from now those are things that will be important to the company will be important to the share price and price action coming after earnings so there you have that information quick look at the ftds if you have not been following this channel and you don't know what is currently going on so today is february 28th and the closeout date for today you have two million ftds that come do for tomorrow 3.2 million ftds for thursday 2.9 million ftds and for friday 2.8 million ftds now get this this is where the action just seems to be getting started amc again is still on the threshold securities list but coming next monday you have almost 7 million ftds due tuesday 5.2 million wednesday 3.5 million thursday 3.6 million and on friday 1.3 million ftds and then you ramp up again the following week after that ramping up every day more than the previous day going from 1.5 million on march 10th to march 17th 6.8 million ftds again so guys i hope this is very exciting to you a quick look at the technicals before we uh end this video because we have a lot of other things to talk about as well the biggest thing i want to see happen heading into after hours heading into the earnings uh report would be amc closing the regular trading day above seven dollars 53 cents per share now i'm not gonna uh you know change my stance on a bullish earnings um or earnings reaction i should say uh, based off of this moving average alone, but this will be very important. If you can hold this level into the close of regular trading, that could potentially uh, set us up for an even larger rally. The 200-day moving average, it's very important as far as algorithmic trading programs are concerned. If you look at the RSI, that is at 67.85, so closer to that overbought level. Not extremely overbought by any means, and it could go a lot higher uh, before all things are said and done if you look at the macd in comparison to other rallies that we have seen right pull this down look at this uh this middle this middle line right here where my cursor is this is the more or less neutral level you are very bullish in june you are pretty bullish in september you are very bullish relative to where we were in uh april of 2022 and in august of 2022 again very bullish on the macd you have not even started to look bullish on the macd that does signal to me could be a lot of room for that upside move guys so that is going to do it for this video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one